These days, children are spoiled for choice when it comes to gadgets and learning apps. But ever thought, how many of these can be used by blind children? Probably none. A tech startup has identified this gap and created a device that can be used by visually impaired children. Watch the story to know more. Did you know India is home to 20% of the world's visually impaired population? Nearly 40 million people living in the country are blind or visually impaired, which also includes 1.6 million children. However, the Braille literacy rate is only 1% far lower than the regular literacy rate of about 74%. A lack of trained educators is a huge roadblock in proliferating Braille learning. Thinkabell Labs, an India-based tech company, is trying to fill this void with Annie, which they are marketing as the world's first self-learning Braille literacy device. Hi there, I'm Annie. Welcome to the main menu. Let's first take a closer look at Annie. We spoke to Sanskriti Davle, who along with other engineering graduates turned a college research project into a million dollar business. Students can learn how to read, write and type in Braille with Annie. Uh, the way we've designed it is such that uh, regardless of what resources you choose to use later out in the world, whether it's Braille books or Braille signage or uh, another refreshable Braille display or anything like that, uh, Annie will prime you for uh, you know being independent in the world. It has two large Braille cells to introduce the child to Braille. The six standard size Braille cells cover all primary learning needs. It has interactive content to make Braille learning fun. Hey, you found the imposter. Let's go for another round. A friendly voice guides students in their local language, which eliminates the need for hand holding and constant supervision. <laughs> Annie evaluates answers given by the students instantly and gives smart corrective feedback. It enables special educators to focus on multiple students at the same time. The makers have curated content suitable for all age groups. Annie can be their constant learning companion. So if they're practicing something, Annie's there to correct them. If they if they want to uh, play games with their friends, uh, you know, like a, uh, who spells faster or more accurately, Annie's there for that. So uh, we're basically transforming Braille literacy from uh, what is usually an um, individual journey and only happening with hand holding from teachers we're transforming it to a more uh, interactive play-based system it's lightweight and easy to handle the company claims visually impaired students can use the smart device to learn read write and type in braille on their own while having fun <laughs> Annie, uh, you know, solves your foundational literacy and numeracy issues. But what we're bringing is not just literacy and numeracy. We're bringing a whole connected learning experience. And so when the child, uh, you know, has learned Braille, what are they going to do next? They're going to use their knowledge of Braille to learn science, mathematics, history, geography, whatever. So um, that's our future roadmap. Basically, we want to bring the connected learning experience beyond Braille literacy. In India, Thinkabell sells Annie as a smart class solution. Their biggest customers are government-run special schools. The average cost of setting up each classroom is 10 lakh rupees or about $13,300. Price comes as a bit of a sticker shock when it comes on TV, but um, you know there have been studies conducted by Niti Aayog and we actually make the learning outcomes 
five times cheaper than what it would cost using traditional methods to achieve the same learning. And uh, the Annie Smart Class model has been hailed as an innovative model for that reason because um, by changing it from a one uh, Annie per child to making it a shared resource for the entire school, the actual cost of learning per child is less than fifteen thousand rupees a year, which is extremely low. It is extremely low for such a complex. Um, Uh, tactile specialized product The startup is planning to take Annie to global markets as well. They have already signed a contract with an assistive tech distributor in the US. We've currently uh, you know shipped Annie's for trials in uh, UK, uh, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, South Africa, Egypt, Norway, Finland and Spain and Italy. So uh, those are the countries that are already uh, you know trialing Annie. Thinkabel has some lofty goals. They want to become the world leader in inclusive education. To do so, they must begin by creating a road map for the Indian market first. We wish them success. Looks like you've completed this level. To head to the next level, press the right key.